Welcome back to another player review on the channel, guys. Today we've got Lazio versus Napoli, and if you are a follower of the Serie A, you're going to know that Napoli are one of the most informed teams, if not the most informed team in world football right now. And funnily enough as well, both of these clubs are not licensed in FIFA 23, and they've given a showdown for it. First of all, we're going to take a look at Zakangi. Four-star, four-star, 5'10", high, medium, right-footed. In terms of trades, he's got the flair trait and the outside foot shot, which is nice to see. Plus two, 92 pace, 93 dribbling, 84 shooting, 67 defending, 85 passing, and 75 physical. <coughs> in terms of the in-games, guys, he's actually got quite good in-games. You know, he's a bit low on the shooting side of things. He's got 90 for acceleration, 88 sprint speed, which is a good pace bit. Your shooting is okay, but not very good, if we're being completely honest for this time of the game. 88 for attack position and 82 finishing. 84 short power and 81 long shots. Passing is okay on him as well. 85 vision and 87 short pass with 85 long pass. Dribbling is really good on him with 94 agility and 92 balance. 84 reactions, 90 ball control, control and 93 dribbling with 80 composure. Defensively, he's actually not that bad as well. So you could make an argument for him as a box-to-box -box midfielder. He's got okay defensive stats across the board. 75 head and accuracy as well. 83 stamina, which might not allow you to play in that box-to-box -box role. And 72 strength. Um, it's just a bit of a mid card, really, this one. Uh, you know, I feel like once again, we're kind of shoehorned into one camera style with him because of how poor his shooting is. The dead eye for me. Um, the reason I like the dead eye on him big boost to the finishing, a big boost to the attack positioning, a massive boost to the shot power, and then a little boost to the long shot. So he's up to 96 attack positioning, 90 finishing, 99 shot power, and 85 long shots. Goes up to 93 vision. And 99 short pass, which I think is a good boost for him. As I said, if he gets a plus two, very unlikely. He'll be a very decent card. But right now, very mid, in my opinion. I'm also not going to be reviewing the icons. I think they're poor SPCs. So that is why we're not reviewing them. And we've got the more interesting of the two. And that's going to be Elmas. Six foot, medium, medium. Right footed, four star, four star. Very good on a midfielder. He's got 86 pace and 92 dribbling, which is really nice. 81 shooting with 76 defending. 85 passing and 80 physical. I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure he got a Future Stars last year. Had five star skills, maybe. He's also got the outside foot shot with the flare trait as well. And his in games are really clean, to be fair. He's got 87 acceleration, 85 sprint speed, 82 for attack positioning, 80 for finishing, 90 for shot power, and 84 long shots. Passing is good. Um, his vision's a little bit low. 85 for vision, and then 93 for short pass, and 88 for long pass. Poor curve on him. 93 agility, 82 balance. That's nice. 81 reactions, a little bit on the low side again there. 94 ball control and 95 dribbling. That's really nice. 82 composure on him. So 81 reactions and 82 composure are poor stats on the dribbling. If he had like 90 on them, you're looking at like 97 dribbling. Um, and his defensive stats are okay as well. 80 interceptions, 71 defensive awareness, 83 sand tackle, which is nice. Good stamina as well, 88. 75 strength isn't too bad and 89 aggression. So... With this card, guys, you know, if he gets a plus two, 88 pace, 94 dribbling, 83 shooting, 78 defending, and 87 passing with 82 physical. One chem style for me, he's already going to feel quite weak, um, you know, being that low strength. I think a shadow is going to be great for him. I'm going to be playing him as a box to box in the 4 1 2 narrow, so I think the shadow is really good for this card. Goes up to um, 94 pace there, and a decent boost to the defensive stats 88 interceptions, 75 defensive awareness. 91 stand tackle and 89 slide tackle makes that a good boost. Of course, he's six foot as well. This is the team we're going to be playing in, guys. Let's get into a few games and see how they do perform. All right, then, guys. Second game with Elmas and Zakangi. First game, we played a cheater, which is just lovely. It's just brilliant. This guy's got Butland. He's got Carlos Poyo. So we've actually lost our 10 0 record there, which is just disgusting. It really is just disgusting. But whatever. Into this game we go against a real person this time, which is just lovely. Uh, yeah, let's see what we can. Can do. I'm not going to get too upset about it. You know, such is life. Things like that happen. Uh, but yeah, let's. Uh, it's nice from Elmas. Ooh. Oh, lucky bad pass there from. Oh, okay. Elmas is a weird one, right? Because he's quite tall in game for a dribbling technical midfielder. Um, which kind of makes me think he is actually going to be quite good. Like overall, I feel like having them stats on a technical. Midfielder who's like relatively tall as well, even though he might not be too strong in game, is going to be really nice. And we're obviously going to see what he is like. A bit disappointed with his passing early doors. 
I feel like some of them have to go through. Wow, what a save that is from Jerzy Dudek. It's not that long. Can Zakangi win it? No, he can't. Can he actually? That might, might have been him winning that. Here we go, Elmas. You've got to find that ball, mate. And he has. What a pass that is. Zakangi's in. Zakangi! What a finish that is, guys. As long as you're green with cards like that, even the uh, the poor shooting stats that he does have, you're going to score, um, which is nice. And it was a good assist there from Elmas. Doesn't feel too bad. Passing was a little bit shoddy early doors, but yeah, man, he, he, he looks, feels like, oh my god, okay. Zakangi just is pretty basic as a player, I think, but this Elmas is quite unique. Um, oh my god. That dribbling is so unique on a midfielder like that. You don't often get stuff like that happen too often, so it's, it's nice to have that kind of card there. <coughs> Sorry, guys, I had to bring you back there. Um, I had to... Uh... Alright, guys, just bringing you back. There was a car going past, and I had to clear my voice as well. Or my throat, even. Um, so, yeah, we're back now. I like this Elmas. If he's passing like that, guys... This is a card, man. This might be one that, that might be worth completing, you know, because he's almost guaranteed to get the plus two. Oh, my days. I, I am close to being finished with next-gen, guys. Like, after getting that, that cheater in that game, it's just like, I know I can turn cross-play off, but I don't want to turn cross-play off, you know? It just seems a bit ridiculous, but... Nice football there. Into Elmas. Oh. Yeah, this, this this car's good. This one here is good. His passing sometimes is a little bit dodgy. We managed to get a penalty off that. I'm going to give it to... Who's got the better penalties, actually? Is it Zakangi? Oh, I'm just going to give it to Elmas. He's there. Well done, Elmas. Finish that. Good penalty there as well, guys. We're 2-0 up. And Elmas has certainly been good. Uh, but as I said, passing a little bit dodgy at times. But overall, feels very nice on the ball. And you know how I said that he's not going to feel that strong? Just isn't the case. He does feel relatively strong because he's got that nice frame in game. Um, and this guy obviously isn't too bad a player either. Yeah, fair play. I mean, stupid goal. And we're celebrating it as well. All right, okay. But yeah, guys, I'm, I'm impressed. Zakangi, not so much. I feel like Zakangi is a very much run-of-the-mill player, but I think um, I think Elmas offers some unique properties and basically almost guaranteed to get the plus two as well, isn't he? Look at that pass there. Oh, was he offside? Maybe. Maybe he was offside. That's why we brought that back there. Oh, nice from Zakangi. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I tried to ball roll the keep. I just couldn't get it off because this game is awful on this version. Okay, Spinazzola. Okay, never mind. What a strange game this is, guys, eh? Nice Spinazzola again there. That's just not where I've aimed it. Oh, I don't want to get annoyed live, but I'm just not aiming that there. That's so annoying. Into Elmas. Can Elmas find that? I doubt it. Oh, my word. He can find that. And that. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, Zakangi's bad. As expected, Zakangi's a little bit bad. I've green time that. That has to go. That has to go in. But Elmas is good. Elmas is good. And there's almost literally no point in completing Zakangi, is there? Like, unless you're a Lazio fan, <laughs> I would just. I, I, I've already made my mind up on him. Just don't complete him. Very, very run of the mill. But I like this Elmas. I think he offers something unique. It's a lovely pass again. Into Zakangi. One more into Locatelli. Nah. Don't really like this Zakangi. I, I feel like he could be decent as like a midfielder, as a go-forward midfielder. But other than that, not my bag, man. Not my bag. But I love this Elmas so far. He's been great. Hard to link. Oh, yes, Elmas. Unless you've got the Napoli players. And probably a good one to hold on to as well. Due to Napoli getting so many... Uh, team of the seasons and like special cards and stuff you know you've already got the Cavaradonna um, you've got Aussie men's player of the month which is another really good link so lots of good links for this card guys anyway after this let's go to some highlights wow guys this Elmas is special he's good on the ball mate. he's so good on the ball look at that I'm really really not enjoying this Sakangi though I'll be honest but other than that I am Thoroughly impressed with this Elmas. Well, 
Look at that pass. Oh, what a tackle that is from Poyo. Yeah, man. He is brilliant, this card. His passing is so assured. It's so, Oh, my God. It's so nice. 5-1, and Elmas has been involved in almost everything. His passing is so, so good. Look at that. Oh, my. Oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah, guys, honestly, the Elmas is a must-complete. He's a must-complete. I know he didn't score that goal there, but his dribbling is so, so good. Now, this passing is ridiculous. Look at that, guys. This Elmas is just absolutely effing brilliant. Honestly, so, so good. Look at that. Oh, my God. Yeah, you can't make this up. He's got a foul off it as well. Oh, man. Oh, my God, guys. We are looking at one of the best midfielders. That Definitely the best showdown we've had so far. Even the passes that don't connect still do, do end up connecting. This dribbling is cr honestly. Cr what am I seeing? Nah, I just got a pet. Oh my god, guys, he's dribbling like Messi. Oh. Honestly, I am shook by how good he is. What a card! What a card this is, man. Oh, he's yeah, fair enough. Wow. Wow, my hand honestly just I I'm in, I'm in awe. Oh my god. Oh my guys, what is going on? All right then guys, now over to old gen. I was absolutely gobsmacked by how good LMS was on um new gen. So, this is going to be a good test for him as well. It's a good midfield and a good team. And yeah, let's see what we can do with LMS over here. But yeah, as I said, really 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 impressed <clears throat> so i want to see if he can offer that kind of stuff over here as we start with a really nice inception want to find that oh i just didn't manage to get beyond cap de villa there but interesting start from elmas already and i know this is a review for zakangi as well but zakangi is very run of the mill an average card elmas is above any showdown we've had so far Easily. Not even comparable. Um, he just feels so good. Oh, dear. Nice, Verge. And here he is. Oh, I so need managed to squeeze that through there. I'm going to concede off of it, which is tough. This guy's a good player. This guy is a good player. So we're going to have to be on our toes here. Um, but, yeah. Just really, really clean on the ball. Look at this sprint boost here. He's just gone. Oh, look at that. This card's actually just broken. Like, that was a roulette, by the way, there. I don't know why that's not came off. But we have to be on our toes, because this guy is sweating hard. Nice verge. There we go, into Barella there. And Elmas, make a run, please. That's a good run from Elmas, too. We're going to go into Zakangi first. And Zakangi's going to look at the back stick. Oh, he is bad. Do not like Zakangi one bit. I think he is trash. Um, we... we we are getting destroyed by the counters here. Oh, okay, guys. I'm going to take your highlights from here. I'm not dealing with this. That's nice from Elmas there. That's a really nice pass. Not so much from Mares, or maybe not Zakangi even. That might have been on Zakangi, that, to be fair. And he's in. Can he score? Yes, he can. Wow, what a finish, to be fair to him. Well, an Elmas. Oh, it's a beautiful goal, guys. We're back into the game. I told you we would get back into it. Nice pass. Oh, look at that from Zakangi there. 
Oh my word, guys. What a turnaround. Oh. Zakangi surprising me a little bit. Our match just turns so different. I mean, guys, come on. Oh, ridiculous. Oh, that should have been a goal. Wow. Wow. What a pass. I can't believe it. I actually can't believe it. For cheap FIFA 23 coins, make sure to check out MMOEXP.com to get fast and reliable coins. And make sure you use code VIPER at checkout to get yourself a 5% discount. All right then, guys. Let's talk Zakangi first. And this card is very much run of the mill. Um, I definitely got a little bit more out of him on old gen than I did on new gen. I feel like I could utilize his dribbling a little bit better there. Sprint boost is more effective on old gen. So I think this card is probably not worth completing on both gens. But if you want to complete him, i definitely say... If you're an old gen player, you're going to get more out of him. Um, on new gen, he just doesn't really utilize the dribble in the same way because of how the hyper motion works. He's an okay card. He's a bit overpriced still, even at the uh, the 82 and 83 rated squads. But he's okay, right? He's not going to offer you something absolutely monstrous. If you green time your shots with him, he's going to be good. Um, but yeah, he, he he's he's okay. He's okay. I'm going to rate him on new gen a bang average 5 out of 10. And on old gen, I'm going to give him a 6.5 out of 10. He's decent over on old gen. But still a card that's unlikely to get a plus 2. Even with the plus 2, he's not going to be great. You know, his composure is low. His reactions are a little bit low. His shooting generally is a little bit low. But with the dead eye applied, he had some good shots. A bit inconsistent with the shooting. Uh, but, you know, overall, a decent card that doesn't really offer anything. It's more of a sideways upgrade with this Akangi. But as we move into Elmas must complete this card he's almost guaranteed to get the plus two of how good napoli have been and he's already absolutely insane he is the best showdown we've had so far i assume when we get well of course he's going to take over but right now guys this is the best showdown spc we've had from this promo so far the reason for that being six foot and having dribbling as good as his is so so nice to have he's got some of the best pass i've used on the game yes his shooting is a bit hit and miss you know He's not going to score too many goals for you. You need to use him as a box-to-box. -box, and he is just so broken, guys. We're going to go through his stats. Uh, you know, pace, shooting, passing, dribbling, defending, and physical. One by one. First of all, we want to talk about the pace. On old gen, felt really, really fast. Of course, with the shadow applied as well, is going to feel fast regardless. On new gen, also felt really, really fast. 10 out of 10 for a midfielder at 6 foot to feel that good in terms of moving. And how quick he moves. He's really, really quick for 86 pace. Of course, up to 94. And he really did feel 94 pace, to be fair to him. Shooting, honestly, going to be like a 6 out of 10. When he does get into the areas to shoot, they're not bad. You know, the outside foot shot is nice to have as well. And I, I do like that about him. His shooting is decent. His passing is going to be a 9.5 out of 10. He was so, so good with the passing. At the start, I didn't really like it. I couldn't feel it out. But his driven passes are insane. His over-the-tops are insane. His player lock through balls are crazy. His normal through balls are also crazy. Having that four-star weak foot as well is going to really, really help you utilize his passing on both feet. And it's just brilliant to have, guys. Um, but the main thing about this card is the dribbling. He feels like Team Ian Modric in terms of dribbling. But being six foot means that he's got a bit more about him um, in terms of like controlling the midfield, being able to drive and hold off players, which makes him, in my opinion... Better than Modric in terms of dribbling. Um, just because he's got a bigger frame, he's able to utilise his frame a bit more, get him between bodies and kind of jump in front of opposition players. And, wow, that dribbling is insane. He's going for a 10 out of 10 on dribbling on both versions of the game. R1 dribbling was crazy. Sprint boost was crazy. Monstrous dribbler, if not one of the best on the game. I think he was absolutely incredible here. Tackling also wasn't bad from him. Yes, he doesn't have the best defensive awareness. And yes, you can feel that in game. When you did jockey with him, because he's got great agility and balance, his jockeying is crazy. Not only that, though, he's got good stand tackle, which you can feel in game. His tackles do seem to stick, which I wasn't really expecting too much. But, you know, he's not very good in the air. So you have to use him as a advancing or just a box-to-box -box midfielder. And he is so good at that role. But defensively, he wasn't bad. Physicals, stamina's good. Aggression's really nice to have as well. And he didn't feel 75 strength, which I thought he might have. Um, but 6 foot with 75 strength feels more like 85 strength. I think this is the best SPC we've had from the Showdown series, guys. I think he's absolutely brilliant in game. He's a must complete. Go and get this one done. 
With Napoli having so many good special cards already, and Napoli almost guaranteed to get the plus two for this Elmas, go and get this one done, guys. You will not regret it. 10 out of 10 for me. Value is also awesome on this card. But guys, if you did enjoy today's video, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell to miss a pair of you. But guys, that's going to be it for me for now, so take care.